We're then going to screw in the faceplate accordingly so that way the mask is going to be there and then after we have that screwed in then we're going to go ahead and mount it appropriately to the individual. We've got all of his information in. We're then going to go ahead and click OK. From there we're going to go to the highlighting start study but we're not going to start yet. We're going to definitely make sure that we get that mask mounted appropriately onto Seth and then we're just going to have him breathe normally while doing no exercise so that way we can confirm that the data we're getting is realistic and accurate because you do not want to have subjects ever do maximal tests if we're not getting good information. So he's mounted up, our tubes are set in correctly, we're going to go ahead and hit start and now it's sampling the information. So after a few moments we are now going to start to see data. So take a look at this and make sure this is realistic. His RER is definitely not negative 9,999. Sorry, 99,999. But now we're starting to see these numbers stabilize a little bit more. RER for a resting individual should be somewhere between 0.7 and 1. VO2, we'd probably see this somewhere around 3 or so, but he's not very stressed. He's just kind of hanging out. And we want to make sure that what we're seeing is realistic before we're going to ask him to do any of this hard testing. Now once we're ready and we like the numbers we're seeing, which look accurate here, we're going to go ahead and click for the starting the study and then that's where we'd start the treadmill up, that's where we'd have him go on the bike, whatever type of test we have him doing. And then when we're finished with the study, we're going to go ahead and literally just click to end the study up here and then that will in turn allow us to print out our results for what we came up with. And that's all it takes for running the VO2 cart.